What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. And in today's video is part two to the MPC note repeat video I did a couple days ago. Now there wasn't gonna be a part two, but I figured I'd slide one in there just because a lot of you had similar questions on how to create multiple rates while recording at, while recording your hi-hat repeats or whatever sound you're repeating. You wanted to switch between rates easily as you were recording. And my answer to all of you was just create another track because that's how I do it right now. But since I showed you a smart controls, in-depth look at the smart controls and logic in my previous video, I figured, hey, let's apply that and create that MPC effect that you are all asking me in the comment section from part one of MPC note repeat, or rather now it's part one, since we're doing a part two right now. So with that said, let's get straight into the tutorial. I got my 808 kit up right here. And we're gonna note repeat that hi-hat. So let's go ahead to our MIDI effects section and open up an arpeggiator. Put that to the side for now. And let's go ahead and open up the smart control feature up here, which will open up our smart controls. Now we're gonna hit the I over here because we're gonna to wanna to change the layout to match what we are trying to go at. So over here, we're gonna open up Electronic Drums 10. This is a preset from Logic Layout that allows you to have buttons. Now, each one of these buttons is gonna be a different rate from our arpeggiator, 1 8 16 and 32s, or whatever it may be that you want on yours. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rename this by clicking that. Say right on that. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this one eight. Ooh, first I gotta map it. So I'm gonna go ahead and learn quickly the different rates. So I'm gonna hit learn over here, hit the button that I want learned, and I'm gonna drag the rate here, which will pull it up over here. And I'm gonna control this one eight. What you wanna do here is do the minimum one eight and the maximum one eight as well. We're gonna go ahead and select the second one, move the rate again, and this one is gonna be 116. So again, minimum 116, maximum 116. And again, for the third one, move the rate. Logic will learn it. And then we're gonna go ahead and call this 132s. Now, again, you can choose whichever one you like. I'm just gonna break it down this way. So there we go, we have learned each one. I'm just gonna go ahead and call these, uh, sorry, rename them. So there it is right there. Now when we go ahead and hit play on our keyboard or controller, we can select easily between the different rates. But we're gonna go ahead and take that a step further and make sure we work on our controller more and more. So we're gonna go ahead and hit learn to an external assignment over here. And I'm gonna hit a button on my external controller. So the first one will be 1.8, eight. Second one will be 116. And the third one will be, of course, 132. I'm gonna uncheck learn. Now when I go ahead and hit those buttons, 1.8, 116, 132. So if I go over to my controller and start playing that hi-hat, 1-8, 116, 132. So as you can see, you can play different rates live right on your controller as you were all asking me in the comment section on part one. And like I said, I figured I'd show you guys how to do this using the smart controls and the arpeggiator, using your external controller as a note repeat feature that you can kind of cycle between the different rates. So if you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. Hopefully I've answered all your guys' questions of how you wanted to set up uh, your controller in your setup. And uh, I might be using this feature actually for myself in my recordings. I kind of put this together just now after I saw your questions. I figured, hey, this will probably work out uh, for the better for all of us. So if you have other questions on this, ask me in the question below, sorry, in the comment section below for more good videos. Remember to subscribe. And remember, more good videos are always coming soon. So keep coming back and uh, checking out what's happening here at I'm a Music Mobile. Talk to you guys soon. Later.